and brought to you in association with Ollie Pidgeley Racing. I'm Phil Humphreys and I've got my co-commentator back with me, James Davis. Hi, right, good evening. Who's good back, back. back from his holidays going abroad. Uh, he's missed Hello. a couple of good weeks. So we had Alton Park and then last week was Oshislaben or Slaben, however it's pronounced. To, Steven. to um, let's say... Very close rounds and close in more ways than one. Um, stewards have been brought in. So the drivers have been talked to about uh, the driving standards and, and hopefully tonight we'll we'll see an improvement in that. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, I mean, Alton, I mean, I was about to say Alton Park. Laguna Seca is where we're from tonight. Uh, so hopefully we shall see. I mean, it's quite a large track compared to the likes of for, for Cleo Cups and, and compared to like Alton Park, isn't it really, James? It is. It's a, it's wider, which uh, is good. Plus, let's not forget the famous corkscrew is, you know, it, it quickly narrows at that point. So uh, we're going to see a lot of action uh, through there, I reckon, during the course of uh, this evening. Yeah, definitely. I mean, one thing is the this track is not really ideally built for cars like this i mean i think after the the worry that i've got after sort of lap four or five i think we might see it sort of quite spread out compared to previous weeks where um it's you know it's may, maybe not i mean there's quite a for these cars there's quite a few long straights in it so i mean maybe we'll see it bunched up but i i do feel that maybe lap four or five we'll see sort of gaps forming within the field and hopefully we'll have sort of battles going throughout but i, I do think that this is going to be a bit of a, a nice, probably a nice relaxing drive for a few of the drivers tonight. I don't think we'll uh, we'll we'll see a lot of close contact throughout the field like we've we've done on the last last two rounds. I suppose that's to say nature of the track, where the last two tracks have uh, sort of lent towards uh, close racing. This offers a little bit more there. Uh, sort of as you say the ability to spread out but i think with the pace of everyone that they're all relatively close so if if it's mistake free then we could see a, you know a few incidents where there's going to be free wide uh most of the time and you know whether that's in the at the front the middle or, or the rear of the pack but it should still bode well for some uh, great racing and it will uh, hopefully be able to view to uh, action right the way through the field yeah certainly i mean and qualifying is you know will give us an idea of of who we'll see sort of bunched together uh, and the times of, of how close it's going to be so let's have a look so a couple of a few times in at the moment so we've got what is it 10 times and there so 135 and it's going down to 144 so yeah so i mean it's you know the usual suspects are, are pulling in times close to each other uh so let's have a look so we've got Holtman at the moment on 135.5 in his usual blue and black livery car there so I mean the surprise for the last two rounds is I mean I don't know if we jinxed it but we said oh it would be good for the championship where RS Jim who was absolutely storming it out in front uh, we need him to fall back down a bit and Ooh. it has actually happened there's only now four points between him and Cam, so RS Jim is still leading, uh, but literally there's four points in it. I mean, this is the is this this the penultimate round? So if oh. RS Jim if RS Jim has a a round like he qualified well last week, but he he actually finished sixth. So I think it was sixth or fifth. So he he actually fell well, down. Interestingly, already there you've got Jim on a one thirty five six and Cam on a one thirty five six. So there's nothing between them in their qualifying times at the moment. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's the, going to go down to the wire, isn't it? The, there is, there is only those two that can win, win this league and this lobby this this season. There's, it's a two horse race, and it literally is, it can be any of those mm. two. So at the moment, obviously, Jim's got a four point cushion, but if, you know, if if Cam can finish first tonight and and Jim finishes fourth, it's, it takes it right. It does, it pretty much does take it down to the last round. If Jim can obviously yeah, get, yeah. you know, get into into first tonight. Um, and they'll be, both be wanting that provisional pole point as well uh, you know it, especially Cam Cam is, is definitely gunning for it so uh, we'll see how qualifying holds out there's just over 20 minutes left now so plenty, still plenty of time um, yeah just but, let everyone know I'm munching on a couple of Russell burgers so if you hear me chewing away slobbering like juicy burgers it is man 
Uh, just let you know there are all other microwavable meat products available, not just rustlers. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. But I mean, your this is dare I say one of your personal favourite tracks. It's a track that you've used a lot, and you know you you mm. seem to to know quite well. Um, you know what sort of? I mean, it's I know it's hard to say, but what kind of times are we going to be looking at for the Clio Cups? Do you think in these cars? I mean. I think I think if um, the thirty fours are going to be the best. Um, I mean, the sort of early stages want mid one thirty fives there by Holtman. It, it's a track that leans towards maybe a couple of good laps out your tyres before they start to wear. So, whether or not people are going to be able to sort of get that hot lap in and go faster than what we're seeing at the moment, we'll see. Because it is a, it is a track that does sort of wear those uh, front tyres out from my recollection yeah now i've been um under the impression all season that it's definitely stock set up but i thought fuel and tire wear were off but tire wear's actually been on for the races so when we've mm. seen people losing the back end it's not it's not so much because the tire heat it's actually because the tire wear so i think with a track yeah. obviously it's in america it's hot it's going to be a hot track like you say you could go for your, your couple of good laps but then you run the risk mm. of tyre degradation happening a lot quicker so it is one of them that you've really got to sort of well that's it, I mean I, I remember for the, the first few rounds where I I was actually racing in them that the, the tyres did uh, wear so that's sort of why when I started commentating I, I was talking about it like but you were maybe under the impression that it was off but I was like um, no it was on but I say at least you know now and it has been a big player in some of the races hasn't it yeah it's you know, it will. I mean, last last week, I mean, Oscar Slayman is was definitely a tire killer, um, mm. and, and I think that maybe you know there was quite a few sort of close racing incidents last week. Nothing, nothing too bad, but a, a few that you know it's the more work for the you know for the race director and stuff. At the, at the end of it, there was a lot, quite a few incidents passed back and forward, a lot of uh, pointing and shouting. But yeah. it was sort of a lot of the time was you know it was just so because it was such a small track and and so close it was it was one of them i mean there was nothing from the the stream and stuff there was nothing too bad that i caught uh but I, now i know that tie wear is off it does explain sort of a lot of the you know like maybe that's why rs jimmy he is pushing and that's why he sort of dropped back mm. down because i mean if you're gonna if you pit in the, your race is over you've literally got to go for it haven't you really that's that would be my understanding yeah but with this track, I mean, there's, there's, um, there's a very sort of varied um, style of corners. I mean, coming off the, um, the first sort of, well, I call it a straight, but the start-finish line into the first left-hander, you get that right, you can go through there very quick, and then you're sort of into the first sector, which, before you go up this bit now, I'm actually viewing Holtman, and this corner has just gone through is you just need a little lift off to get a bit of oversteer sort of induced but this is the one where it's going to be make or break your race the corkscrew so you know he's caught the he the apex is lovely there and he's uh looking on for a decent time i don't know if he's going to go quicker but it is important that you you sort of be very consistent on this track because any sort of mistake and it will just throw you off yeah, I was I was watching it. I went on the on board. Then he did he did take that corkscrew really really nice. I think especially in these cars, if you get the entrance and the entr sorry the entry to the corkscrew right, you could sort of just let mm. it. You could, all you'd need really to do is just turn the wheel and then just just even with Holtman. He is provisional pole moment, so we're on him for a tight line through corner one and two there. Or is that just corner one? That's so, it. Yeah, and again, you sort of nice... just lift off and turn in here. He's a little bit wide there. He did, didn't quite get the apex as nice as he would have wanted. Again, right to the end here. Bit, again, a bit deep in there. Yeah. But again, he's been out a few laps, so I think you're looking at his tyres now. He's, he's sort of struggling to get that time again that he's already done. So maybe he's, he's already set the sort of fastest time that we're going to be looking at as we uh, near the halfway point line. So here comes that blind corner now, which, you know, if you... He takes that. No, oh, it goes off a little bit there. So I don't think he's going to be getting his his fastest lap with this. But that 
that blind corner, like you say, it's one of them that if you get it right, the 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 amount of time that you can gain on people up that hill there is is immense. Oh, but if yeah. you get it oh, if lose. you get it wrong, yeah, if you get That's it wrong, it, it's yeah, because it's going uphill as well. It's it's definitely going to be a, a tricky one for a few tonight. That corner, I think. You've also got this um, difficult last corner, the uh, left hander here. Break yeah. down here and then hard breaking right across down to first, and then it's it's powered down. But again, you, this this track as well, it's, especially these cars. If you try maybe put the power down a bit too early while you've still got lock on the car, you you'll end up getting the you know the car facing the opposite direction. So you've got to be careful. Yeah, I've got a bit quicker there. It's a one thirty five three, so that was about just two tenths of quicker. So. Oh, Cam's now in. Oh, Cam must have been in second. Oh no, Cam's just taken yeah, second is. place. Uh, so he's not too far off. So yeah, first to third sort of split equally at the moment. So Jim's out on track though. Here comes Jim down the corkscrew. So you could hear the difference in in the revs with Jim and Holtman. Holtman seemed to just ease off where Jim was really hitting the high revs there. So it looks like Jim took the the downshift approach to that to maybe get the speed yeah, through. Yeah. So we'll see if Jim approves on his lap time. So hard braking down yeah. the gears. Nice exit and there. Oh, a little bit wide. There. Don't know if you'll get penalised for that. I mean, I racing. If you go on that green bit, it's a one X, which is a bit of a but oh that's a Jim's nice time first, by Jim, 135 though. too so very very impressive time there so will anyone get into the 134s james has predicted that if anyone can get into the 134 they've pretty much secured no -E. yeah provisional pole there so we'll see if anyone can i mean that was a, a pretty good lap from jim there 135 too so not you know, not a million miles away from your predicted best time that you could get in the Clio's around this track. Oh, oh Jim, all uh, back end getting out there as well. Yeah, hope, yeah. Maybe they feel that. I mean, I'm sure they'll go back out on track in a little bit. Uh, let's have a look at EDU's going back out on track now. Okay, he had, he had, unfortunately, wasn't his week last week. Uh, he has shown great potential, though. So, I mean, different type of track that we've seen. Uh, for these cars so we'll see how edu does on these track on this track tonight these cars using speaking of which what's the uh final track next week uh i'll have to look at the calendar uh, i don't know off the top of my head uh let's have a quick okay. look now i'm just going to message the host which is actually cam yeah i'm just looking at Cam now, he's on his hot lap, so see how he's doing. Maybe a little bit easier to get a bit of heat in the tyres this uh, this week. Yeah, saying that EDU gets the back end out but holds it well, he's swerving now to get heat in the tyres. So our front two, Jim and Holtman, currently sitting in the pits, probably contemplating the meaning of life. Or just hoping that no one takes his time off him. True. Jim thinking that would be a nice extra bonus point for getting pole. Do you really throw the car down the corkscrew, but he's lost it there. Mm. Sometimes Camp. slow is in fast. I see if he's going to go faster. I think he's good there. He's uh, probably going to have that lap time. FRT, got, FRT Gonzi, strangely enough, it's just actually been pushed down to 11th, but for would have thought to see him. I mean, he's done 10 laps, so it's not that he's mm. not had any track yeah. time. He's just moved up to 9th, but 136, so strange to right see him. Pace. But, I mean, last week it was, uh, I think, RS Jim... But I think he qualified sort of, sort of bottom mm. top of the table. I think he was like fifth or sixth. So he mm. he he was seemed to struggle to sort of get into the time. So we'll we'll see. I'm sure Gonzi will will fight his way through the pack. It's just obviously got a bit of work to do to get up to the front runners. But I mean, as I said, the battle for this this season this 
the league to get into the race of winner season finale event is is between Carmen and Jim. Yeah. So we'll stay with Gonzi at the moment. Uh, newcomer to the season as well, MLB197. Uh, actually, real life Hello. mates with Ollie Pidgeley there as well. Um, he has said that Ollie will be watching and, and will probably want him to to go off and smash into a wall. Uh, but lovely. He's uh, you know he's been involved in you know a couple of the the backpack battles there as well. But it's getting used to the car, getting used to the people that you're racing with as well. Who's that? Sir? Who's that MLB again, mate? Uh, MLB one nine seven. It's uh, real life friends with Ollie Pidgeley. So. Oh right, right. What it went with yourself? So Ollie will be. Uh, Ollie I will understand be now why he wants him to crash. Yes. Yeah, Ollie will be uh, watching and cheering on MLB. I'm, sh I'm sure he will. MLB is in the pits at the moment. Uh, maybe everyone's having a rustlers from you mentioned it before. So, Cam. That could be it, mate. As long as the garage has got a microwave and a toaster, you can have a nice rustler. So we'll stay with, with Cam now. See if he can make his way into the top spot. So we'll see the sector times. So, thankfully, so he needs to really be Jim's better. Jim's going through the corkscrew now. Took it nice. So I think this might be a hot lap. So him and Cam are going to battle it out this last 10 minutes. It's gonna so, be, I mean, uh, look, look in there. Holtman got a 135.3 on his last lap. Ooh. And his sector one, he was 33.4. And Cam's just got a 33.1 in sector one. Ooh. So Cam already almost half a second up oh he gets a lot of dirt there that's going to slow him down going up the hill up to the approach on the corkscrew breaks as late as he can not bad so he's still Jim was half a second slower he's still slightly up on Holtman so we could see him take second here we could actually see him take Mm, but yeah, no, oh, not bad, yeah, I think. yeah, I think whatever time he's got. He's not bad. We could see him take second. I don't know. This is going to be close. Yes. He improves oh, on his it... time. He's just that. It was just that last sector of the oh, track yeah. where, unfortunately, he missed. We'll stay with Cam though. I think we might see a change to the top coming up very soon. In between. Um, or Holtman. Jim with a decent sector one time there as well. Gonzi's got a good sector one time there as well. Down in 10th at the moment. I'm sure we'll see him filter his way through. So Cam, like uh, again, there's that corner oh, catching Cam oh, out going up the hill. That is definitely cancelled out this lap for him now, unfortunately. Cut a bit there as well, yeah, that's definitely his Achilles heel. Jim's done a 135-1 now, so he was a little bit quicker. Edging towards that 134 that I predicted. Hotman back on track now, coming into the final sector, so let's see if he's in the hot lap. Yeah, I mean, this lap he's definitely not going to uh, move. Do any damage. Mm. Yeah, he's probably only about 10 seconds out. That's probably his... He's definitely had a, a sector oh, one incident there as well, because 41, oh, yeah. so yeah, 145. Ten, I was oh. pretty much bang on, 10 seconds out. What's my burgers? So we'll stay with Cam. I do have a feeling if Cam can just get that sector two nailed down. Mm. I see him go. I mean, it could be that he's his tyres are struggling because he's pushing very, very hard. 
It's got a maybe. He's got a decent, really good sector one time again. This, this is where he struggled, so let's see. FRT Holtman is just behind him as well. Um, so we could actually monitor yes. his sector time just after Cam, so. Interesting, interesting. Oh, Cam is. Oh. Loses it, almost loses it, but actually, great save through that corner. Just gets it sideways. Yeah, so he just had a little wiggle of the rear, little wiggle, wiggle. But I think that is unfortunately going to cancel well, look, this I mean, lap it's cost, for him. He's saying he's one, just over one tenth down. But in that respect, if he never made that mistake, he'd probably be going quicker. Let's see. Uh, anyway, he's slowing, Holtman yeah, he's, has, uh, he's letting, yeah, he's got it. It must, it must have been tyres. So we'll see if Holtman can upset Jamie and get that provisional pole. Back out, so that's definitely for his tyres. Yeah, he needs to know. It's just over, just under six oh, minutes left to go. Holtman going wide. very wide at the end of the last corner. <laughs> so yeah, it's just over his his best lap there. So five minutes just over left. So Cam's it's been intriguing really, again. Really gonna have just enough time for his out lap and then maybe one more, two more laps. I say two more out lap and two more. So there's a few in the one thirty fives now as well. The top yeah, four. John Arides has gone in. And uh, coming just outside as is Lugobi Amiga. So Gonzi's now got a good sector one time there as well. So we're seeing really what, what kind of times that you are needing to get this provisional pole. 26.5 for Gonzi down in 10th. So again, I don't think Holtman's going to be getting back into pole on this lap I have known to be wrong before though so I could be wrong again I'm just letting him through there so just on board with guns as he comes to cross the line really uses as much as that exit as this game allows it, he moves up to 5th or 136 so he'll be, pleased, he'll be pleased with that but he has got still enough time to get another couple of laps in so he's obviously found his flow now. He's settled in. So Cam's and now on to his first no. time lap since leaving the pits. He's got Holtman just in front. He'll obviously on all the rubber. So hopefully we'll... All the rubber. Won't we'll get... OAP, OH polystyrene. And that's plastic. Um. So Hotman with an amazing sector. Oh, I was about to say with an amazing sector one time, but Cam is bang on 33 seconds. I think that's the quickest yeah. sector one time that we're seeing at the moment. So Cam's on an go. absolute flyer at the moment. He just needs to nail down this sector two. Oh, oh unfortunately. No. But I mean, he's well up on sector one, so. Yeah, still that's going to cost him a few chances. Yeah, twenty six eight. That's... Altman through the corkscrew as is Cam, pretty much identical cheddar, which is nothing that exists. I mean, we Rise. could we could see Cam maybe. Oh no! Oh, yeah, he gets the oh. Oh. Might, entry might to that corner quicker. all wrong. Again, it's set. So at the end of sector two, sector three, where really Cam is really struggling. He gets. Oh, he does move up to second. second. He does. If he if he'd have got. If he could just. Oh, yeah, if he can just... carry Ooh. on his sector one form for the rest of the track, we will see Cam steal pole on his last lap of this qualifying session. Jim's in the pitch watching. He's in the pitch watching. He'll be like, all, all Jim can do now is good luck, is guys. Watch. Good luck. That's speed. Right, here we go. Cam's pushing as hard as he can here. Oh, I know he sees 
down. He was like 33 yeah. bang on on that sector before, so... Still. But he can still do it on these that sector time. He can still... Just need to get this corner right. Oh, oh not bad. Uh, not bad, but... Just a bit. And, and this dirt is... On this game, it's almost like a magnet. It sort of pulls the car off the track even more. It's flying through the corkscrew oh, there. Holtman is... Yeah, I think he had a it's bit. It's all down to Cam. Just over a minute oh, left. Wait. It's now or never. Anyway, let's see if he's oh, made up that time it. he lost in sector one. Not bad. I don't think he's going to do it. He may go quicker, but I don't think it's quicker than Jim. No. no. Oh, well. There you go, but that was a some great time nice there. end to the, to the qualifying session there. Let's see if anyone else is... Uh, someone's... So, Subtome coming out. Let's see if he Edu can improve is off. on his time. Those, but stays in 14. So, who was that? Right. EDU, did you say he went off? Yeah, these. Uh, oh, my balls have dropped. Uh, yeah, he um, he stopped now, gone back to pit. So, is uh, that's it. So, nice qualifying session there. The top three. No, no surprises really. Gonzi just missing out on the top spots this week. So Jim gets yeah, that all-important point for pole. It's uh, a five-point lead now starting, going into the start of this race. Yeah, do the so, warm-up. So just a five-minute warm-up. So five. let's uh, fill this with some weekly gaming chat. I haven't got a jingle to play, but it'd be nice if I had one. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Weekly gaming chat. So, I mean... There's only sort of, I mean, Dirt Four's been released. I'm hearing mixed reviews about it. Apparently, yeah. it's it is a lot of problems if you've got Thrustmaster wheels. The T500 apparently doesn't work with it. The T300 okay, just stops working whenever it wants to. But Project Cars 2 dropped their E3 video, their E3 trailer, uh, which has just got my juices flowing even more for that game. Um, Anyone yeah. who knows me will know that I'm a massive fan of this game anyway. But Project Cars 2, I just... I can't see anything being it, if I'm honest. I just... I'm just so well, excited about that game. Well, it the date, didn't it? 22nd of September, as you say, and it's like... Ah, right, now, ooh. let's just see if Subtome... Subtome, get your camera on Subtome, because he was doing this last week. He likes to do a track, a lap of the track backwards legend let's have a look oh he's goes. being joined by i do pro so driver to use tracker to do this but yeah uh project cars 2 uh we'll leave uh subtome in the background uh give it a little show for the fans as he uh does his backwards driving but yeah project cars 2 you know what what isn't there to like about the look of that game? Uh, the trailer shows off some touring cars uh, for the touring car class, the Mercedes A-Class, the Megane touring car. Uh, we know the BMW touring car is returning from this game. Uh, the Astra uh, TCR car is, is going to be in, in DLC format, um, I believe. If you, I think if you get the season pass, that comes in, the, in one of the packs in that uh, release. So that'll be... Uh, a league that I'm sure that you'll see coming on this channel it may even be we'll do a Clio Cup race and then we'll we'll do a a touring car race of like a Clio support series and then do a, a touring car league as well but that's you know one one class I mean there's just so many class cars in that game that are, and classes that they've I like that the fact that the, what they've done is so the Group 5 cars in this, there's only one Group 5, which is the Sauber Mercedes. There's more Group 5. So there's more Trans Am cars. There's, I, uh, I just can't wait for it. 
I, I just Will you be wait. racing in the uh, touring car league this time round? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, that'll be one that I just take yeah. part in as well. I'd, I won't want to just watch that. I'll, I want to take part in it. So, um, Will you be able to do your own li libraries? No. On PC, ah. on, on, on PC you can, but because the, the memory that it, it takes, uh, the... They'd have, to, they'd have to remove you, you say it doesn't but to have obviously everyone's library showing up in the game and stuff like that as well you, you, it, they'd rather put that memory usage to other things like live track and stuff uh, like that I'd, ra I got, I'd rather, I I'd rather... let me just play devil's advocate here man right this this is Project Cars 2 not Project Cars 1 it's also 2017 not 2007 yes and but let's be honest, have... back in 2006 you could do your own libraries on Forza yes, 2 yes but did they right? have did they have anything like as as much going on in terms of car setups and stuff and la and the things like live track like this like Project Cars 2 Ooh. still just saying I'd, anyway, I'd rather yeah, I I'd rather point, I see your I'd, point I'd rather have something in the game like live track than the ability to have a giant cock on the side of my car because guarantee that is probably one of the main things that people would draw in a library editor is a giant slong on the side of your door. You would anyway. Yeah, I'd say all valid, a good good point. And, uh, you know, so I think it's, it's just it like... Would be, it would be nice if you maybe could import them so they had a way of having a program on a pc and then importing it as a save file yeah like if you, could up, that, if you could that download would be nice. from like a database where you could upload yeah. you could design them upload it and if they're approved by uh sms yeah then anyone can download them because if they say yeah this this will not sort of cause the game to shit itself then happy days yeah, that'd be even like if you, you can, even if you pay maybe. On GTA, you can yeah, SMS if, if you're listening is an idea. Have that implemented go. where you actually charge people because I'd I'd pay a couple of quid to have have a library put in into the game. Yeah, uh, I would. Yeah, I would definitely do that. Money making exercise, man. So like milk that's, and a cow. that was this week's Mary. gaming chat. On to the race. So half an hour race. of Cleo Cup action. So we have to wait for the lights to go green, and then we will join the action as quickly as we can oh fucking wrong button apologies for the language there okay we've got the start underway and all good so far so cam on the outside yeah. so everyone oh Hotman oh Hotman struggling there sorry trying to pick the gun just behind out? him so yeah, push that a little bit wide there. Jallery just made the move, made it stick. Looks like everyone else is through. A few people off in the dirt in the distance there as well. Uh, Subtoam MLB in the back of the pack. Cars screaming down there to the corners. Jim still leading the way with Cam in second. Lou Gaby running well in fifth at the moment. Nakaman in fourth. Just trying to find where Gonzi is. Gonzi's down 11th there, so he's had a bit of a, a shocking start there as well at the moment. Uh, Holtman yeah, just behind Blue Gobi at the moment. So Blue Gobi has, has chosen a, a white livery for this week's race. Oh, Holtman oh, screaming Holtman down, down the corks. EDU. Down six. Do you look like a little bit of contact made there to Lee W07, but slow down and let oh, him pass. Oh, Jim struggling, just coming out there a little bit wide. Cam on the outside, can he make a move? Has he got it? They are absolutely. Let's have a look, look at how close that is. Cam has managed to get his way yeah. past, but. Now it's the case of who breaks latest. Jim's got the inside. Nicely Very done by there, these two. Well held, both held the, the line. Inside. Takes it deep on the defensive. Is Jim going to be able to sneak I'll inside of him now? It. Oh, 
those two. Keeping it as close as they can. Tim's going to try and find a way past the me. I think he's going to try that. Can Cam do yeah, a defensive line there? The times. Jim very quickly this sector, sector of the track. Cat. Oh, that could uh, be is a good track. Be... No. no, no, it's not. Oh, legal. I was, I was about to Legit. say Cam did not have the best line for that corner because. I think, it's one, was, the, I think it's one of those really corners where, where Jim was. Yeah, it's one of those corners where if you take a a very tight line in, it's you do have to break a little bit harder where a nice wide approach to it allows you now to... Now look at Jellerida's in third. He's closed the gap on the front too. Nice driving here. Two wheels there as well as he bounces over the kerbs. So heavy breaking into the final corner. Oh. A line of Cleo's all behind him. Nakaman has yeah, got Jim Holman got just on his tail as well. EDU and Lee W07. Side by side. Well, down to six. Corner. Down to six. It's well, fifth. It's close. We're all bunching up here. So this is. Uh, hasn't spread out yet. Cam taking a bit of gravel there. And Jim is right back on him here as well. He knows this could be so vital. Jim gets ahead of him. If anyone else gets ahead of him, it could be the final nail in the coffin in terms of the championship oh, challenge. Oh, Jim getting a lot of dirt kicked up there as well. Makes his he car did. slightly Jello unstable. Holtman up to fourth as well. Makes a move three wide. Back down to six. We've got Nelkerman, Gobi and Holtman. And I need to breathe. <laughs> take a breath. Take a breath. So we're, there's <sighs> battles for third. Jello and up battles. to second. Jim taking a, a cam line there. Well, what's going through Cam's mind here? He's got a little bit of a gap as he enters the corkscrew. Jalavidis, oh, that's a mistake. That's a shame that he lets. They lost a lot of places there. The oh, EDU and who's that that EDU made contact with? Oh, but it's again, three wide. It was Glazer, but Glazer EDU slows. Oh, four and... wide now. Uh, oh, free wide going into the corner. Oh, well raced by these guys, but EDU oh, looks like he's... Oh, contact there, Gondi and Glazen. Oh, teammates. Go... oh, forces, forces oh. Glazen into the dirt there as well. There'll definitely be no love lost between them two, but I don't know, Glazen, a mm, little bit pushy there. What's happened to Cam? He's down in third now. Oh, we missed this. So maybe it was a penalty or... No, Must but that's Holtman now into second. Flying. Cam does not need this. Cam needs to get back into the top spot. Is Jim going to be able to away. hold on? Like an elastic band, hold him back. Jim getting on two wheels there as well. Yeah, Gobi battling now with Cam, putting him under a lot of pressure, looking at a podium finish. He fancies it. Cam again. Cam, you can see he's spending a lot of time defending. Whether he was in first, second, or third, he's he's always seems to be on the defensive during this race. Maybe this this track is not sort of finding it comfortable in this car track combination. I don't know. What's your thoughts, man? I think it's literally like you say. He's one of them. He's going to be pushing, but you know, if you push too hard, tires. That's that's the mm. biggest worry. Yeah. It might be one of them where settle for the, you know, keep going, but don't push too hard because third third place points is better than fifth place points. So, I mean, yeah, the gap yeah. will increase a little bit too, Jim, but you could still take it to the final round and hope that looks on your side. Uh, can yeah, get a nice, yeah. nice exit out the final corner there as well. Pulls a little bit away from Blue Gobi. We've got Neckelman. Jim Reed is starting six. He was doing so well at the front. Yeah, Neckelman also closing in on Gobi and Gobi now just falling a little bit back on the uh, cam. Jim out in front again, as we've seen so many times this season. Is so, he going to get back to form? So just going back to that last corner with with Glazen and, and mm. Gonzi there before as well. To me, I mean. After last week, words were said by the race director saying, guys, driving standards needs to improve. It looked like to me, I mean, Gonzi was on the inside. Glazen should have known he was there. 
should have held his line and, and, and took a wider entry into that corner. You know, if Gonzi does say anything, Glazen will be spoken to by the race director uh, and by the stewards because, you know, we we don't want we want fair racing. We want close racing, but we want it to be fair as well and, and we need people to, to not be so pushy. But we won't we won't go on that too long. We'll go back up well, to the front. Just a so. quick question in regards to that. Um, with them being FRT teammates, was was it not handled internally by the team? Or did you guys well, have to I mean, get yeah, I mean, obviously that you know they're they're FRT teammates, but they're, they're racing the next gen race, so they've they've still got to abide by the next gen rules. I'm sure they'll talk about it amongst themselves as well, and you know they'll 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 sort mm. it out. And you know, it might. I mean, we're looking at it from our perspective. We you can't always see it from the the driver's perspective. It could have been that Gonzi was completely blind to him. I mean, this game doesn't have any. Uh, marker arrows on it so sometimes a car can be to the left of you but you you might not see it so it is it is one of them we're only going off on on what it is and you know that the frt guys are, we, uh... are decent racers so we'll we'll, we'll oh, see oh yeah yeah well we've got cam down in fourth now Gobi has moved up to third and uh holtman second still jim out in front uh, a yeah, little bit is... of a gap sort of developing so cam sort of good start is sort of uh Regressed into a real struggle now, and it's, you know uh, this. This is uh, going to make it very difficult to, to sort of uh, win the chi championship if things stay as they are. He needs things to change quick. Yes, it is going to be unfortunate for him. Looks like a I like Gonzi as well. I'm still surprised he he's quite as far back as as what he is. It's, mm. it's I do feel sorry for Cam because literally with each place that he loses he'll he'll just be knowing that the the chance of a a title is is that much harder to find so i'm sure he'll be he'll be pushing but again you've just got to be careful about how hard you do push these little cars around this track but anything can happen there's still 20 minutes left so you know play aside but i did say that come sort of like a, a few laps in sort of four or five laps we'll see it start spreading out oh who's that that someone's slowing down it's not cam is it I'm just trying to i do making a move there on uh Jalaridis moves up to seventh move but the do pro driver now up to seventh lose six so a little battle developing there cam closing in on gobi so might move up a place and get his podium finish back yeah, just watching the battle for seventh now. So Jelleridge has got EDU to try and get past. And he's got Lee W07 just in front of him as well. So Jelleridge is really trying to find a way past EDU at the moment. EDU a nice defensive line. Oh, Jelleridge might have found a way past here. He's definitely got the run. He has. Can he? Yeah, he has. Nice oh, move. but. EDU's now on the inside. Well, that's it by EDU, yeah, as you say, he's, uh, this is going to be interesting. Both of them so go through Della high Ridges speed here. Little down the way past. Oh, yeah, Della Ridge is running well, so he's just got Lee W07 to find his way past now. So Jim's still leading the way. Cam's still down in fourth. But we'll stay with Good this battle, battle. Know with him for six. EDU and Gonzi's now coming into this fight as well. He is. Uh, Gonzi That's right. going out a little bit wide into the dirt there as well, so loses a little bit of time on him. So, Jello Ridges has got EDU. Lee, uh, Lee W07, sorry. Yeah, he's managed to pull away a little bit, but Jello Ridges obviously got to defend while think about attacking as well. And EDU has got Gonzi Cam. right on his tail now as well. Cam moving into third here, got the inside line, should be able to make it stick. He does. Blue Gobi can only watch him go past. Like a pancake to the ceiling on Pancake Tuesday when you make a mistake. So quite Flipping a bit of a gap between him and Holtman, but not a million miles away. Oh, contact there with Gonzi and Edu. Uh, Edu or Edu? I don't EDU. know. I was calling EDU or EDU or EDU. I think it, 
I think it's Edu. I mean, maybe he could, if he's watching this, because I know he does put his own... He does stream, doesn't he, himself? himself? I'm not too sure. Races. I'm not sure, but I'm sure he does. Uh, but oh, if tried, he's watching this, the please there. clarify. Tried the dummy. Gonzi ain't going to fall for that move, though. Uh, but looked like he went left. Thought, is Gonzi going to move out the way? But Gonzi just holds his line. He's too... Had too much racing time to fall for that move. But EDU like a magnet to him there down the corkscrew. I uh, can't find a way past just yet though. But sticking with Gonzi. Tries to switch back there. You can see him controlling oh. the car through the corner. Goes off on the dirt. But sticks with him. He has got the inside for the corner. But Gonzi is out in front. So it's not going to be Good able exit to... though. Good exit. Side by side, these two at the moment. Let's have a look at just how close they are side by side. Yeah, don't, oh, don't oh, that, oh. Almost. Thought Gonzi was going to keep going left there. That would have been absolutely chaotic for Gonzi. That would have flipped his car around. Defensive line going into corner one. Is you sticking with him, though? He is. So Cam's still in third, Jim's still in first. Well, as we approach the halfway point, you can imagine the tyre wear now is going to be making a big impact because I think you can see Cam is actually slowly gaining in on uh, Holtman and Holtman is gaining in on Jim. So yeah, I think just... the cars, are, it's fairly interesting into how... I'm just watching that as well. Driving EDU... styles are affecting this. EDU yeah, obs EDU's obviously been pushing quite hard. You know, he's he's keeping up well with with Gonzi and, and that as well. He's seen him there, sort of almost sort of going almost sideways through some of the corners. So you, you'll definitely yeah. see a few of them that have been pushing hard. Cars slightly not. Yeah, EDU going off there as well. So really could have tyre problems at the moment. So we'll go with Cam. I mean, Cam's done done the fastest lap so far. So it just goes to show, I mean, when it's in the zone, they're very, very similar, but now it all comes down to the combination of who's got the best ability yeah. to manage the tyres and cars in this state. Uh, Blue Gobi is still not a million miles away from Cam in fourth as well, so Cam, uh, you know, it looks like... Got him in his sights. Any mistake? But yeah, he's, you know, the, let's have a look at the sector times here. Coming up, so 33-2, 33-2, 30. So, Cam's slightly uh -huh. down on sector one, but Blue Gobi, you know, with all very close. almost at the... Yeah, it's, you know, there's not a lot in it at all, but there is a slight difference. doesn't look like Blue Gobi is, is running slightly faster than Cam at the moment. Again, could be tyres that are, are coming into play with this as well. So, here we are approaching the corkscrew. Down, shifting. Nice and tidy there by all of them. Yeah, all of them make it through cleanly. All right, here's your money on. We haven't actually stayed to do the thing is going to win, but now we've got halfway to go. Yeah, I mean, I, I think yeah. if... Oh, is that Jim? Oh, no, I thought Jim had lost the back end there, just on the shot. Um, right. I'm good. I mean, there's only 30 minutes left now, so I'm going to say Jim's probably got this one. But I don't... Okay, I'll go Holtman just to mix it up like a salad. I mean, Holtman took a very wide line going into the first corner there as well. It's The, the gap just doesn't seem to be shrinking between him and Jim, though. Um, it just seems to be... Tenuous. It does look like the gap between Holtman and Cam is now increased again slightly mm. well, again I mean, the sector times are very very close yeah I mean look at it Jim and Holtman sector times are pretty much identical um, mm. Jelleridge is there not yeah no, it's 34 
So Gonzi's still down in 10th there as well. Let's have a look what's going on. So, yeah, distance between him and the guy in front. Oh, we're a little stay. bit faster through sector two. Let's see what the lap times are. So we've got the timing board up ready. So one thirty-five. Yeah. A little bit quicker. Jim uh, came about the same as Jim, so but it looks at you know I say Hopman was faster there on that lap, but at, at the start of it, it looked like the gap was increasing. Yes, certainly. I mean, unfortunately, there's no sort of. It'd be nice if there was a little sort of timing section that's showing the gaps between driver to driver. So it is a case of us just trying to pluck it out. Yeah, they should have like. The are they going to have like a TV mode like you can get on PC, you know, for commentating like we do? I just say there's going to be like. That, uh... that will be in Project Cars too, yeah. There'll be. So you, you can have 16 people in the lobby, but then you can have two dedicated people. Uh, places one for shoutcasting and one for sort of what they call director mode but you can do director oh, mode and shoutcast at the same time so there that'll be good so cam i mean all eyes on cam can he make headway into it it's, it just doesn't seem to be doing <clears throat> enough to claw that gap down holtman and jim you know just doing what needs to be done do you know what it means for when Project Cars 2 comes out, man? With all that gizmo stuff. What? We're going to have to, dare I say it, become more professional. <laughs> nah. Nah. So, the gap. I said this would happen, it would just stretch out and... You know, Hotman's not uh, gaining it, yeah, on Jim. You know, it's still a case of any mistakes by these guys, though, in, in the top three. Especially Jim and Cam. So we've got EDU or... back on Gonzi here as well, so we'll stick with these two. But EDU all okay. over Gonzi like a magnet on this race. Oh, I thought he was going to try like a cheeky move up the inside, but I think it's better of it. Can't see getting... There was a, there was actually a guy who uh, one of his children got chicken pox the day they would they were flying out and it meant that they were not and we had to stay in Cyprus for a further two weeks. Pretty fucking mental. It was like I overheard the story. It was like damn, that is like something for TV drama. Who are you talking about? Just this guy who, who was at the hotel. He was supposed wow, to sorry. Like, I did, fly out. I, I just we were talking about EDU and that, and then he started talking about this guy. I thought I thought you were talking about one of the drivers. I was just like, who? No, who's no, so I just like random story, like to fill a bit of like air time. Oh, and that's contact from EDU into the back of Gonzi, and EDU's carrying on. So we obviously felt that Gonzi was, you know, wasn't his fault. That could be interesting. But it was coming Maybe down some the cork. ramifications. It was coming down the corkscrew. I don't know. Maybe EDU just had a much quicker line come out of it. He couldn't turn. He couldn't avoid. So interested if Gonzi has anything to say at the end. But we'll we'll see what happens with that. Yep. I mean Gonzi's. Caught up a little bit here. So we'll stick with these two. Holtman so... just falling back again. Gak has gone up. Yeah, sector time's there again. Not a lot in it, but Cam slightly quicker through the sector one. So, I mean, we've got eight minutes left. Oh, EDU getting almost sideways there through the corner, so tie will definitely become a factor now. Which yeah, Gonzi right back on him. 
on the corkscrew. Ideally, <laughs> you do not want bad tyres. Is he going to go for revenge? Keep it clean. Keep it clean. You can do it, lad. Very, very nice close. Nice and clean by both of them there. Also closing in on Jalaridis. Oh, Jalaridis, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, EDU going yeah. off there as well. Managed to get back on, on in time. But yeah, sometimes, you know, if you've got someone behind you, it can it can push on as well. But Gonzi, fantastic move up the inside there as well to get the place. I'm sure he is going to do it. Now, EDU Ooh. manages to, to pull away from him just on the home straight. Now, Cam has closed in on Holtman. So this could turn out not so bad after all if you can keep... Keep this open there. Uh, managed to take second at the very least. And then that will mean that the gap going into the final race is not so bad. Can he get there though? I mean, there is just under seven minutes to go. But yeah, that gap is definitely, definitely reduced to, to Cam now as well. Yeah, he was the quickest through the first sector there too. Quicker than Jim, quicker than Holtman too as well. So he's really he's yeah, hey, I mean, look at the the difference between him and, and Blue Gobi. Now he's the the lad is screaming through the track. I mean, that gap, even as we've been watching, is definitely reduced. I have the tigers. The he's definitely yeah. had his shreddies. I think Frosties, man. Yeah, he, he wants the he, he'll want these points more than anyone. I mean, he needs these yeah, points yeah. more than anyone really. Do you add sugar to your shreddies? Do you ever have shreddies? Uh, I have shreddies. I would add sugar to them or, or candorel, which is a lighter candorel. alternative. Uh, uh, Any time with a bit of honey? I mean, can candorel's good because it tastes like sugar, but it isn't mm. sugar. Uh, I think it's the devil's yeah. work, to be honest. I, d I don't quite know what, what it is. Um, yeah. That's what I have Ooh. on my shreddies. Just a little bit of a sweetener and some milk. Good call. Have you ever had cinnamon Grahams? No, no. My that's favourite. A, that's a strange, I, I do like, strange thing. I do like shreddies with a bit, little bit of sugar on top. But uh, I do also uh, have a soft spot for shredded wheat. Yeah, shredded with, with a little bit of honey over. It's tidy. Oh, Cam going oh. off into the dirt there. He's not wanting That's that. That's cost him. That has cost him dearly. That has cost him dearly. That all that hard work, unfortunately. It's. It just goes, that, that part of the track, it just goes to show if you make a little mistake there, the amount of time that you lose, try getting up to speed, because that is a steep, steep hill. Yeah, I mean, it is a wide track, but some of the corners really do sort of close in on you so fast. Ah, oh, Cam again going very, very wide. on. Uh, is oh, that a penalty? A is that a penalty? It is, Gobi. Closing, closing. It's closing, but yeah, he's not going to be able to to take the place off him just at the moment. But unfortunately, Cam will be kicking himself because that is pretty much cemented. Holtman and Jim for if he's got one. By the way, we do not recommend that you kick your cat if you do. No, no, one. no. Or anyone else's Please cat. Please do not. Or any other animal if you have have them. Uh, uh, but yeah, that is that is definitely. Oh, Gobi is. Massively gaining on Cam at the moment. Cam needs to hold on now. He can't lose another place. I mean, this is definitely going down to the final race next week. Yep, at the moment it definitely is. I mean, so Jim Holtman and Cam's fastest laps are so, so close to each other. Uh, this goes to show that these guys have been on form tonight, but we did have Jim's a just been so consistent. Amiga, Is that, uh, Amiga double dog? Oh, that's a shame. Uh, MLB is in 13th. He's got Oldsy just in front.
Gonzi managed to get up into eighth. Nobody's really put the pressure on Cam. Two and a half minutes left. I think Holtman, again, he's dropped back. Jim's pulled away. Nice little gap now. Should be able to maintain this lead right to the end now. I would say this is definitely well, it's definitely Jim's race to lose now. Well, this is a statement win, miss. He's come back to form just at the right time after a couple of difficult weeks and what a time to come back to form as well with one race left to go. And the championship looking in the bag bar any disaster. Yeah, he'll definitely be, you know, he'll definitely be more confident about next week. Now, I think if he had a bad week this week, it definitely would have shook him. But he's, you know, he's come back fighting and he's shown what he can do. Cam, unfortunately, not the, the best week for him. Did run well, but he'll probably look back at the example like the cut track and that when it looked like he might have been able to gain second and it, it's all unfortunately what ifs for the lad but I mean it's one yeah. minute for well, we've, seen, we've seen his quick cam round here but the consistency sort of deserted him at the wrong at the wrong time and cost him at certain sectors of the track on a regular basis and I'm sure maybe with a little bit more fluency he could have probably won this yeah unfortunately like you say it's it is there it's the what ifs and and the buts that yeah that he'll be he'll be thinking of uh blue goby's had a really good race though he's you know he's, he's made it well. difficult for cam he's he's applied the pressure so he'll be pleased with his performance tonight Lee W, it's still got a yeah. chance. I mean, there's going to be. I mean, this is going to be uh, a penultimate lap. Yeah, thirty seconds left of the timer, so this is definitely the final lap for for Jim now. Great sector one time there by. Uh, oh, look Gobi. at this though! Blue Gobi is right on the tail of of Cam. So, is there going to be a final upset for Cam? On a night he's, let's honest, probably going to want to forget. It, It's now sort of... It's, uh, it took that it's, corner well there, Cam. You know, his, his mission next week is now even more difficult. Yeah, but Everest has just got a bit taller. Jim is, is, is going to have about a 10 point advantage going into the last round so unfortunately it looks you know for cam a cam anyway you not, not unfortunately overall but for cam it definitely looks like that he's gonna have to settle for second place overall but go blue goby going into the final corner i think yeah, Cam's done well, enough. Cam, they'll take that i think yeah like i say when he was sort of pushing really hard to start Third place points is better than fifth place points, which at one point for Cam, you know, it was looking, what was he down in sixth? So I think overall he'll probably hold his head up. He'll take a deep breath and he'll think he'll, he'll be thankful for what he did walk away with tonight point wise. So, but again, like Ooh. I said, this, this track, it's not really a Clio cup track to be fair. Like it's definitely one that will, have to change your driving style in these cars in. That well, was a you good know. race though, it was enjoyable. So there's your, your finished positions there as well. So Jim does take first, Holtman second, Cam third, Blue Gobi fourth. Now coming fifth, Lee W did well this week, finished sixth, Jelleridge is down in seventh, uh, Gonze unfortunately probably one of his weaker weeks as well, finishes down in eighth, EDU, ninth, Glazen in tenth, Subtome eleventh, Oldsy twelfth, MLB thirteenth, and then retirement on lap ten for Amiga Double Dunt who... Let's be honest, this season had a nightmare season, really. It's not been one of his best. No, I just don't think the card agrees with him for whatever reasons. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, he's, he's he has he did say to himself that unfortunately he just it's one of them that he just couldn't seem to get a feel for anything. But that's only it, have so. the wheel trouble. Um, or am I thinking of someone else? In this week, he had he's, he had to go out and buy a new wheel because his his thrustmaster mm. uh, decides to go kaput on him. Uh, but I do. So yeah, it wasn't quite as uh, close racing as the last couple of weeks there, but you know it's a massive track compared to the others. So you know, still plenty of talking points, still plenty of decent racing. Uh, and battles throughout the race so once again thank you very much for tuning in uh thank you james for your yeah, commentary cheers. duty as well very welcome enjoy uh, it once we will again. and we will return next week at the same time of around half past eight for the final round of the clear cup hosted by next year the decider the decider so it is actually the decider so all to play for for cam next week uh and it's all to hold on to to jim so do tune in next week from half past eight and we'll catch you soon.